Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Stormworks Build and Rescue. Today we are going to do a small tutorial about logic and microcontrollers, and we're going to make the illustrations with uh, doors. So we, we will have uh, like this um, uh, example or problem where we have a door in our, in our ship, we want to be able to control it to open it and close it and let's get started so they are basically three types of doors in um, stormworks they are the sliding doors the dock doors and the custom doors and today we are not going to uh, talk much about uh, the docking doors and the custom doors they basically have the same functionality it's just that the docking doors have the additional functionality of being able to dock with other ships uh, i made a, a video about that some time ago if, uh, you can check it out but today we are just using the sliding door so i have this test platform here uh, let's put a door once you place your door in your ship, you want to be able to open and close it. So let's place uh, a button. So there are two main types of uh, buttons uh, in Stormworks, the push and toggle button. The difference between them is that one of them, the toggle button, will keep the state the other one just sends a signal it doesn't keep any state whatsoever so we will see this in more detail in a moment but for now let's place um, our toggle button to open and close the door um, once you place your um, components here you will want to power them or you have to power them because they don't have any power so I uh, previously I, pla I placed a battery here and what you have to do is just connect the battery to your button and to your door now the data uh, the data connections uh, they control the behavior of the components so you can see that the that the button has two um, interfaces uh, here. One is for to receive signals. The, uh, this looks like a small donut here. These are input uh, ports, and then you have the output port. So you must connect uh, input to output. This is how it works. So the, the button has two um, ports, an input and an output, and the door has uh, an input. So this input, as you can see here uh, in the, in the tooltip we get, is that this port will control the opening and closing of the door. So what you do is just connect the output from the button to the input of the door. Uh, and this we we won't do anything with this because the the player himself is the one that is going to trigger the button. So uh, this um, other port is used uh, to to have other devices interact with the button. So let's uh, test this. Let's spawn it. And here we are. Now you see that the button is uh, triggering the door. And you can see that the state of the button is um, represented by uh, the light, right? When the button is on, then the, uh, the light is on. And now that we have uh, this uh, door opening with a button you will ask well now I want to close the door once I'm inside so how do I do that so let's 
let's do that right away so a single button won't, won't do it of course and for that purpose we use the toggle button the two-sided one so this button has two sides to it and it's very convenient uh, to trigger uh, to have it to control doors right so it is the same as uh, as the single sided button so we do the same here we have to again power it and then in the data tab we have to connect it and spawn it And there we are. We open and close our door once we are inside. So this two-sided button is very useful. And this is what you will be probably using most of the time to control this open and close. But what if you wanted to um, have these buttons in different places? Like the two-sided button is useful if the button is close to the door but if um, you want to trigger um, a door like i have in this submarine you will see i have this hatch in the submarine and this hatch is controlled by this button so i open the button and i get inside but look as i go inside i'm far away from the button so i cannot trigger it from here so I have another button here that will close the hatch. So this is a use case that you may find that you want to trigger a door um, in two different places or other devices. In our example, it's a door. So how do we do that? So a way to do this is the following. You can place of course uh, two toggle buttons instead of one so let's say we have another button inside our ship and it's another toggle button now the problem with this is let's power it right away is that uh, you cannot just connect this uh, button to the door because you see what happens uh, only one button can be connected to the door so once i connect one of the button the other one is disconnected so one way to do this is that you will take the for example um you can take the 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 other button and connect it to the input port of the first button now what is happening here is that this button is triggering the door while the other button is just interacted with the first button and changing its state so let's try this So now I can open the door with this one and I could close the door with that one, right? But you see that it doesn't close right away. I have to press it again. And this is because now it works normally. This is because the two buttons are not synchronized at the beginning. So the problem is that when I press this button, uh, the, now you see that the two buttons are not, don't, they don't have the same state. So they are somehow out of sync. So when I press that other button on, um, that is just um, now that the two are on you see they are just synchronizing once I press but once they are synchronized it works 
like intended or like expected i should say so this is the problem with uh, with this two button approach but there's uh, a way we can get away with it and let's just place another single-sided button to it's just the same as with a two-sided but um, to illustrate this uh, this feature here so what you would do is uh, again I have to power them what you can do is that again you connect one of the buttons to the to the door but you also make sure that the other button is synchronized you see now this button is triggering the door and at the same time is turning the other toggle button on and this button now i will connect it to the input port of the first one so in this way i ensure that both buttons are synchronized so let's spawn this again So now, you see, now they are synchronized. I push the first button and the other one is turned on and off. And in this way, I keep both uh, buttons synchronized and they are also triggering the door. So this is um, the way you can do this. Um, but you see that as I open or close the door and push the buttons, the um, the buttons have this state, right? Like they are, they will light up when they're on. They will turn off if they are off. But in our submarine, this is not the case. When I push this button, you see that it doesn't keep uh, the state on and also here when i push it it closes the door but the, the button does, doesn't keep the state on and that's because i'm using uh, push buttons instead of toggle buttons and i will show you how you can do this so now we are we are going to use components like these logic gates and logic components so the first thing is, is that we're going to replace these buttons by um, push buttons and i will show you how the push button works so this is a push button let's uh, power things up here and let's spawn it so the push button it doesn't keep a state it just sends a signal so look how this works you see when when i press the key once it's it just sends an on signal and then it's off again so in order to open the door i have to keep the the key pressed I have to keep interacting with the button and now I can go in but of course this is not what we want so we need to somehow keep a state so now we have the two push buttons and we need to keep the state somehow so to do that we need something called push to toggle this component right here so this push to toggle is a logic component that will keep an internal internal state and will toggle this state every time it receives a signal. Every time this uh, component receives uh, a non signal, it will alternate between on and off. And as you can see in the description, it says that this can allow regular push button to act as toggle buttons. 
So let's use that. Let's put it here. And uh, you will see that this component has also an input and an, an output port. So um, what, what we're going to do is that this component will control uh, the door. Now, the problem we have here is that it only has an input port. So at a single time, only one of the buttons can trigger the, this push to toggle thing. Maybe we could uh, we could have this uh, a workaround like this, right? Like the the second button will just trigger the first one, and the first one will will um, will change the state of the of the component. So I think yeah, I need to power the other button. This would work. This could work like this. Right. So you see now that the that the state is not kept in the button. So it just lights up briefly while I press the button. And here you can see that also the the other button works as well so this is a way you can do this okay but if you were to have like um, more buttons interacting with the with the door um, it will be a little bit well you could do it but it will um, it could be a little bit messy but there's another way to to do this and this just to illustrate how the logic gates work and that is we could use an OR gate so an OR gate this is a logical OR and what it means is that this um, OR gate it has um, it has two input ports and one output so the input the output will be on if either of the input is on so this is this is what the logic gate does so we could just connect the two um the two buttons to the or gate and then the output of the or gate we could connect it with the with a push to toggle component so here you can see uh, that the two buttons come to the OR gate the OR gate uh, triggers the, the toggle and the toggle then triggers the door so now what we are doing here is that if either of the push button sends an on signal to the OR gate then the OR gate will um, send an on signal to the toggle to the push to toggle component and this will toggle the state so let's try that I think everything is connected now yes so this is just an illustration of uh, what you can do so now we can activate that and also we can use this to activate it so it works like as expected so now uh, you can see that uh, I need two components in order to to have uh, the current layout working there's an alternative to this and this is with microcontrollers and we this is um, an introduction to how microcontrollers work so instead of having two components doing that I could have a single microcontroller doing it so the way to do that is that you go to the micro 
microcontroller tab here and uh, in the microcontroller you I have like these different um, designs I have made but uh, we want to create a new one so you start with a new microcontroller from this view the microcontroller has the design view and the logic view so let's call this um, door controller just to to keep with uh, with example and now in the logic you will add nodes so what we want to do is that we 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 want to have the same functionality as the two uh, components we had so that means that we need two um, input nodes so this would add once you you press the add node you can add a node to your um, component you can here you can uh, specify what type of uh, in a port it is if it's an on or if it's um, on off this boolean or is is it a number or other complex things that we are not covering in this video and if it's an input or output so we need two input uh, nodes there we are we have two input nodes and we need an output node let's change the name to output that's it this is what we need two two inputs and outputs and now let's go to the logic now we have the so here the input the input uh, nodes right are represented like the this output signal and the because inside our inside our um, controller is the other way around right we we are we are receiving signals from the input and we are sending out signals through the output so these are the two input and the output and we need an or gate right and we need uh, the push to toggle so here you can select your your gates what you need and you can search for the push to toggle we have it here so all these th things we had uh, in our when we were building the the ship we have it here like these uh, gates and these components so now we have and they work the same right the, uh, the push to toggle has uh, an input uh, and an output port and the OR gate has two uh, input and one output and the next thing we have to do is just connect them together and that's it well you can arrange them in a nice way this is a simple way to do it so there we are that's it that's that's all what we need and now we can save it let's um, you can draw here a signal right you can draw here um, yes some icon that will represent your your um, component okay that this is just a way to to represent this and we save it right uh, door controller door controller we say right there we are and now we get out of this um, view we can delete those and we replace it by you have to look for it uh, at the bottom here like microcontrollers and there it is door controller so 
and you see now that it um, it is occupying less space than the than, than the other things this only occupies four and the other one was the logic gate the the or gate that occupies four uh, blocks and the uh, push to toggle that uh, occupies additional two um, places so there we are and once we go to the logic it has like this the same ports right that we uh, need to input and connect them there and one output and that's it this will do the trick now we just need to push the button and it will work right there you are so this is uh, it's really um, simple it's not that complicated to get started with these um, uh, logic components and these microcontrollers you can do a lot of things with them so I hope you like the, this introduction to um, logic and microcontrollers uh, if you enjoyed the video, you can like it and hope to see you in the next one. So this is Cyber Settler signing off.